I'm Blanca. Um, tonight I'm going to talk about how I forced myself to write this. <laughs> so I found this quote on Twitter and I think it's really, really good. <laughs> so vegetables, they start like vegetables. They are very good for, for other people. Um, I know that writing tests have a, do a ton of benefits for a poet, but I struggle and I find it very hard to write tests every time. So tonight, in five minutes, I'm going to try to explain what I do to force myself to write this. The first um, point would be um, enforcing test coverage in thresholds, um, produce um, coverage reports showing the test coverage, and how to make sure that no code is committed or pushed before our test pass. So, Test coverage, what is um, test coverage? The amount of code that is covered by test is called test coverage or code coverage. Um, I use Jest as a, the testing framework for my mm, React project since it comes out of the box with a uh, create React app. Um, so Jest gathers code coverage across your uh, project. So if we want to get this information, we just need to add the flag coverage to our uh, task or uh, to our script. Um, without the need of any more configurations. It's pretty easy. Um, if we um, run our NPM test task, we will get this information. Um, when we create a React app from scratch, we will have one branch of code and one test that covers this and make sure that uh, the app renders without crashing. Um, so we just have one branch of code and it is fully covered by test, so 100% fully covered. Um, test coverage. But what happens if we add some more logic to our app uh, with this uh, condition? So depending on the props we are passing to our app component, we will render an image or an, a string. Um, but if since we just have one, co one test, if we execute those, our test now, we see that the test coverage um, in our branch, you can see that, uh, drop to 50%. We just have one test and two branches of code. Um, so the test coverage is rendered in the terminal now, but we can have this output in a more nicer way. So how can we do that? Um, we can just add these coverage reporters to our just uh, configuration in the package.json. Um, and this is uh, really easy. We have um, a lot of different reporters, but we can use these two text to show the coverage in the terminal and the HTML one. Um, when we execute our, our tests, then just we create an um, index.html file inside the coverage folder in the root of our project. Um, when we open this file in the browser, then we have this nice output. Um, the coolest thing about that is uh, we can click um, on any file of the project. If we go and <coughs> click on the app, component, we have this, is all the code of, the, of this file um, with the lines of code that are not covered by this highlighted in yellow. So we see what we have to fix to make um, a full code coverage. Um, so how can we ensure full test coverage? With this coverage threshold, you can set the amount of code coverage you want, but if you want full code coverage, you just um, but 100%. This um, coverage threshold can be global and can impact all the files of your project, or you can be more specific and just cover certain, uh, if you want, you just cover your components. Um, so pretty easy configuration. If we run our test uh, script now, then just we complain about the branch of code that is not covered by test. And we can do something to fix it, so we can add more, more tests. Um, and finally, um, we can prevent us to commit or push any code to a remote if it's not covered by test or if the test don't pass. Um, Husky makes it very easy to write um, tasks that will be executed before commit or before push or before any other git hook. Um, the configuration looks like this. So pretty easy, so now you don't have excuses to not writing <laughs> tests. <laughs> I hope you learned something tonight and find it interesting. 
you can, oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> now if you run our test, oh no, if we want to commit, if we want to commit, then Husky will execute our, our um, Git hook, pre-commit Git hook, uh, that will execute and run our tests. And then if we, if the test don't, don't pass, then we will be prevented from committing. That's what I mean. So we are forced to write tests. Um, yep, you can feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, this is my blog, I'm um, GitHub as well. Um, thank you. Thank you.